I have a pretty soft spot for movie Ratchet. Uh, this original Dark of the Moon Ratchet was one of my very first Transformers I got when I really started collecting. And I really do love this original Dark of the Moon Deluxe. But it wasn't the first Deluxe Ratchet mold, and it wasn't the last Deluxe Ratchet mold. Uh, because this mold was kind of repurposed and upgraded for the Studio Series Ratchet mold. A mold that I like so much, I actually own it twice. I have the uh, 2007 version, and I actually really love the Nest Ratchet colors. So I went ahead and got the Nest Ratchet as well, and I think this guy is just so cool. But me being such a softy for Ratchet, I really was missing one of the more prominent molds for Ratchet. And I finally just got it recently because I was hunting for one specific deco. There was only one deco of this toy I really, really wanted, and I finally found it. So you've already seen the thumbnail. You know the title. I finally got myself Hunt for the Decepticons Rescue Ratchet. Obviously, you can see this is Movie Ratchet in G1 colors. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I do not have a proper figure of you know, movie Ratchet in G1 colors. And I really do love the whole idea of the movie characters in G1 colors. I kind of wish they would do more of the G1 characters in movie colors. But I just, I don't know, I love the mix. I love the combo. But before I even talk about this figure, before I even get into it, when I opened him up, I noticed something very cool and fun in the box. A product pamphlet. If you know me, you know I love going through product pamphlets. So this is the original 2010 Hunt for the Decepticons product pamphlet that was included in Transformers Toys some 14 years ago. Oh, I just realized that's... I thought that was something on my finger, but no, it's a part of my thumb. That's very nice. Yeah, I think a cat did that earlier. Anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, we do have a picture of Revenge of the Fallen Megatron opening it up. Hunt for the Decepticons. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a game. It was a game on, like, Transformers.com. So the whole toy line wasn't really called Hunt for the Decepticons. The toy line just advertised the Hunt for the Decepticons game. That's pretty much what the line was. So some people just call it Transformers 2010 because of that. Uh, I love the original promo images of Optimus from the movies. I think they're so cool. So here's Battle Ops Bumblebee. I do have that toy. Unfortunately, the electronics don't work. And it's got a couple parts broken on it, but I think I got it for free. Did I get it in the P.O. box? I might have. I don't remember. If I did, thank you very much to whoever sent it to me. <laughs> Life is a blur nowadays. Uh, very cool toy nonetheless, though. They actually repurposed that for the first uh, movie masterpiece, Bumblebee. Hunt for the Decepticons Leader Starscream. That is one hell of a toy. Absolutely love it. I am forever indebted to Noah for sending that to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is one I definitely have not forgotten. Uh, and then Battlehooks Optimus. Very cool figure. Uh, wouldn't mind having that someday. On the next page, Night Ops Ratchet. Very interesting. That's a repaint of the Voyager. Voyager Sea Spray. I love that mold. Uh, I do have the mold as Deep Dive. I wouldn't mind getting Sea Spray someday, but I don't know. I like Deep Dive more. Battle Blade Bumblebee, that is an awesome deluxe class. They didn't fully transform the chest, though, in the product image, but that is still one of the best deluxe class bumblebees you can get. Speaking of deluxes, for whatever reason, I still really want this original deluxe Ironhide. I have so many different molds of Ironhide. I have the uh, Studio Series, the 2007 Movie Masterpiece, Dark of the Moon Leader, Dark of the Moon Voyager that's kind of busted up now, but I've never had this uh, deluxe, so maybe someday I can get that. They did a version of it for, like, a trans scanning line that was, like, half clear. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, Power Core Combiners. I do have Smolder. That is that is a Power Core Combiner I do have. I do have Smolder. I don't have Skyburst. Uh, very interesting toy line, Power Core Combiners. Uh, and then, ooh, there we go. Generations uh, 2010. Good old War for Cybertron. Honestly, I love both of those figures still. There is the new Studio Series versions, but these still hold up very well. Uh, I honestly do kind of... I have not gotten the Studio Series Bumblebee. I just like the original Bumblebee. I got the Cliff Jumper. I don't really think I need Bumblebee. Optimus, though, both of them are really nice. And then, obviously, the video games. They're on Nintendo DS. Uh, oh, yes, my boy. The original uh, activators for Hunt for the Decepticons. I love them. Why do I keep saying the original so much in this video? Everything's the original, huh? 
Jeez Louise. Power bots. Optimus Prime. I think I have that one. <laughs> I think I have it somewhere. Uh, and then, oh, it's Speed Stars. I forgot about the Speed Stars. Those are so odd. I don't think I have any of those. I, and then Stealth Force. I don't have any Stealth Force either. Those are kind of interesting. I think I did have a Stealth Force for a while, but I think I ended up getting rid of it. I just didn't really... Or, or do I still have it? I think I had a Stealth Force Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Do I still have that? I don't know. I don't think I do. I don't think I have that anymore. And then, obviously, masks, roleplay stuff. That's just what it is. And exclusive collector cards! That's the product fan flip. Just had to go through that. Absolutely love the little throwbacks to toy lines. And especially since that was one that came out right before I really started getting into Transformers collecting. So I find that kind of fascinating. Anyways, Rescue Ratchet. This mold is awesome. Uh, one couple, one couple, one couple. Couple means two, one means one. So what does one cup? I just can't talk anymore. Anyways, a couple of things I really like about this guy. I really like the difference in the vehicle mode. I like how it's more of kind of the Hummer. It kind of embraces the Hummer instead of being like a Hummer Bulance. Instead of a Hummer Bulance, it's just more of a Hummer. And I, I really enjoy that. Uh, I don't really remember if this is what it looked like in the movie, nor do I really care, but still, it's it's nice looking. I do love the EMP. This was kind of a carryover from Transformers Animated, and they also had it in the uh, Cyber Missions web series. But yeah, it's just Ratchet's EMP. It's just a, you know, missile firing thing. Plugs up up top, plugs into the arm. It's very nice. And yes, it does work with the Revenge of the Fallen lockdown toy. I don't have lockdown, but I do have Axor. It just it plugs in. It's nice. It goes with it. Uh, so I do appreciate that integration. Uh, but still, I'll probably leave this with him because I like how it integrates in the robot mode. So taking that off, you can see it has a port up there. It's it's ratchet. Looks nice. It it does the part. Uh, it's it's white. It's red. Underneath, you can see this is one of those figures that suffers from things just kind of fold into place syndrome. He is kind of a shell former. He does have a lot of panels. Like, you can kind of see his legs are just folded up and his arms are just folded up. But it's still a pretty fun transformation. I really do enjoy it. Uh, speaking of that, you know, it rolls. Let's transform it. <laughs> I don't really have too much to say about the vehicle mode. It's, it's nice. I like it. All right. Let's just start peeling him apart. Uh, he has a lot of panels, a lot of panels and a lot of things to just burst out. And this is one of those guys I just, I'm like, how to transform it? You just blow them up. You just blow them up. Boom. <laughs> but we'll take the legs. We'll straighten these out. You can see the legs have absolutely zero elements of the vehicle mode integrated into them. Absolutely none. It all just folds in from within. And for some people, that's going to be a problem. But for me, I think it's okay. Uh, these these uh, ratchets, you can see, like, have some panels and some wheels and things actually integrate into the alt mode. This one, nah, they're just panels on the side. They're just big old panels. And they just fold up. They just fold up along the side. You'd have to kind of be mindful, though, because it kind of has a pretty bad click when you fold it. It's funny, it feels more natural folding inward. But you're supposed to fold it outward. And I just don't feel comfortable ever folding it outward. But this is how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to fold like this. And it kind of stresses me out every time I do it. I think you have to do that one first and then go back. Yeah, that's how you do it. See, so yeah, that's a little stressful. One cool thing, I love when Ratchet figures retain the, the rotating feature. Because I always loved in the original movie. That is actually a proper use of the phrase original. Uh, <laughs> I love in the original movie how he does a... That was the worst sound effect ever. But you know what I mean. Like the clicks and then he rotated. I thought that was really cool. So we kind of get them all rotated. Then we can get the chest. Get that kind of down. But we're far from done because we still have to take care of the backpack. Kind of get all that folded up. And I love how the shoulders come together. I think the shoulders are super nice. So get the arms straightened out right there. And the shoulders, how these work. We're going to rotate them around. And kind of fold these in on themselves. But one thing I love is how this folds down. I just love how the wheels... For a lot of ratchets, you can see they're kind of like facing forward. Almost like big speakers. But I love how this ratchet, they're not really facing forward. They're more like facing up 
and I just think that looks really cool. Now, I know these tab in somewhere. How do these tab in? Don't these have like a tab? I swear they do. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Right there into there. That's where it tabs. So the wheel tabs into that panel on the side. Other than that, it just kind of floats. But I think it does a good job of like having the panel in the front and having the, the wheels up top, kind of having the little headlight still exposed. I honestly think this is the best, like, from the waist up, this is the best deluxe ratchet. But from the waist down, it's a little, little capey, uh, a little odd. Uh, one thing I love, you can see it kind of retains that whole, uh, you know, automorph, what was it called in Mech Alive, Mech Alive in Revenge of the Fallen, where you take the EMP and it kind of has, like, gear teeth. And when you put it in the arm, you can see, especially on this side, when you put it in the arm... It's going to move those up, and those pieces kind of meet the uh, the part right there. I think that's really cool. Why does that plastic look like it's shredded off? I got this guy brand new. I don't know why it looks like that. Uh, but anyways, there we go. Here is the Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Ratchet in the iteration of Hunt for the Decepticons Rescue Ratchet in his robot mode. And I love this robot mode. I think it's so cool. I love finally having a ratchet... That is Movie Ratchet in G1 colors. I just think it looks so awesome. Uh, especially seeing like him next to the the, the, the white Ratchet and the black Ratchet. It, it just looks so cool to me. I love it. I just love Ratchet's design, man. I think Ratchet looked so cool in the movies. And I really wish he just would have been white and red from the beginning. Because I think it just would have looked nicer. But Michael Bay just had such an aversion to red. Like, it's shocking he just didn't make Optimus Prime entirely blue. He didn't want him to have any red on him. It's just, it doesn't look right on camera. Shut up. Anyways, <laughs> uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, similarities and differences, especially with the shoulders. The shoulders transform very similarly where it's like panels that kind of fold in. But while these ones still kind of like have the wheels more forward, uh, this one actually has them facing backwards. This one has them facing forward. This one has them facing up. I think they look coolest facing up, but I think they're the most accurate, kind of facing more like the Studio Series. The legs, I have to say, are very long and lanky on the middle one, and he has the big old hip skirts. Uh, I definitely have to give the legs to the Studio Series. They straightened them, they streamlined them, still integrated a lot of vehicle mode components to them. And the feet also look very nice. I do like the feet on the, the Hunt for the Decepticons one. They do have that big heel spur you have to fold out. But I like the paint. I like the white and I like the, you know, the gray right there. This looks nice. I like the white on the thighs too. I think that looks cool. Even though the painted white looks so much different than the plastic white. Uh, it almost makes the plastic white look yellowed, but it's just the difference of color. The head looks cool. I love the look of the head. It does have a problem, though, uh, when it comes to articulation, but the head looks really cool. has some nice light piping. It's it's ratchet. I like it. But, yeah, speaking of that articulation, uh, his head articulation might as well not be there. That's it. That little swivel is all you get. Because it's on a ball joint, but his collar is so in the way, it just doesn't work. Because Ratchet has that collar around his head, and they just molded the head around the collar. But as you can see, with the Dark of the Moon one, they decided, hey, let's just have the collar be a part of the head sculpt so you can actually still rotate it. And thankfully, they retained that with the Studio Series, where the collar is a part of the head sculpt so you can still rotate the head. So definitely something that, unfortunately, they just didn't really know what they were doing at the time, and it just kind of looks whatever. Uh, the shoulders are on hinges and ball joints, and I think those move very fun, very nice. Ball joints for the shoulder pads, uh, bicep swivel, very nice elbow bend, hands move in and out. Now, I like this extra part, this rubbery part on the arm. I just think it makes it look really nice and three-dimensional, like especially comparing it to the Studio Series, where it's just all sculpted. I like seeing the uh, actual three-dimensional element on the original. Original, everything's original on the Revenge of the Fallen one. Uh, he does not have a waist swivel just because of everything that kind of clicks together. His hips are kind of disappointing. They only move forward about that much. They do move out. Uh, he does have double jointed knees and the thigh swivel right there. The knees are very nice, but that's just because of how everything has to fold in for transformation. And the ankles are very nice too. It's got a very nice hinge and it is on a ball joint. So you get a little bit of pivot too. So overall, I love 
this hunt for the Decepticons ratchet. I have been hunting this ratchet for quite some time, and I was super excited to find it at the toy department. For only 25 bucks, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a steal of a deal. And it was still in the box. And I thought that was so awesome. So what do you think? Which deluxe ratchet is the best? Because we have three pretty good deluxe ratchets here. I'm not going to go through and like transform all the other ones, because I think I did an old versus new on uh, ratchet. And I think I covered the deluxe, the Voyager, and I think I actually kind of covered that one a little bit too. So let me know what you think. Which one's the best deluxe ratchet? I'm still going to give it to the Studio Series. I just think the Studio Series is the most fun overall. I think it just looks the best overall. But I'm very happy to have the Hunt for the Decepticons one. It just looks really good. And it's really fun. And I like the differences with it. I like the similarities. And I love the color scheme. I think the color scheme is amazing. Alrighty, guys, with that being said, let me know what you think. Fun little look at a Hunt for the Decepticons repaint, because I love talking about this line. One of my favorite Transformers lines is Hunt for the Decepticons. I kind of wish I had every figure out of it, but that's probably never going to happen. But yeah, again, let me know what you think. Which Ratchet is your favorite? Special shout out to channel members, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a great one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.